on the authority of Abu Huraira, who said that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him said. When Allah decreed the creation he pledged himself by writing in his book, which is laid down with him, my mercy prevails over my wrath. It was related by Muslim, also by al-Bukhari and Nasay and Ibn Majah. On the authority of Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, who said that, the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, Allah the Almighty has said. The son of Adam denied me, and he had no right to do so. And he reviled me, and he had no right to do so. As for his denying me, it is his saying, he will not remake me as he made me at first, means, bring me back to life after death, and the initial creation of him is no easier for me than remaking him. As for his reviling me, it is his saying, Allah has taken to himself a son, while I am the one, the everlasting refuge. I begot not nor was I begotten, and there is none comparable to me. It was related by al-Bukhari, also by an Nasai. On the authority of Zayd ibn Khalid al-Juhani, may Allah be pleased with him, who said, The Messenger of Allah, may the blessings and peace of Allah be upon him, led the morning prayer for us at al-Hudaybiyah following rainfall during the night. When the Prophet, may the blessings and peace of Allah be upon him, finished, he faced the people and said to them, Do you know what your Lord has said? They said, Allah and his messenger know best. He said, This morning one of my servants became a believer in me, and one a disbeliever. As for him who said, We have been given rain by virtue of Allah and his mercy, that one is a believer in me, a disbeliever in the stars, and as for him who said, We have been given rain by such and such a star, that one is a disbeliever in me, a believer in the stars. Commentary, the pre-Islamic Arabs believed that rain was brought about by the movement of stars. This hadith draws attention to the fact that, whatever be the direct cause of such natural phenomena as rain, it is Allah the Almighty who is the disposer of all things. It is related by al-Bukhari, also by Malik and an -Nasai. On the authority of Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, who said that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him said, Allah said. Sons of Adam inveigh against the vicissitudes of time, and I am time, in my hand is the night and the day. Commentary, as the Almighty is the ordainer of all things, to inveigh against misfortunes, that are part of time is tantamount to inveighing against him. It was related by al-Bukhari, also by Muslim. On the authority of Abu Huraira, May Allah be pleased with him, who said that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him said, Allah, glorified and exalted be he, said. I am so self-sufficient that I am in no need of having an associate. Thus he who does an action for someone else's sake, as well as mine will have that action renounced by me to him, whom he associated with me. It was related by Muslim, also by Ibn Majah. On the authority of Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, who said, I heard the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him say. The first of people against whom judgment, will be pronounced on the day of resurrection will be a man who died a martyr. He will be brought, and Allah will make known to him his favors, and he will recognize them. The Almighty will say, and what did you do about them? He will say, I fought for you until I died a martyr. He will say, You have lied, you did but fight that it might be said of you, he is courageous. And so it was said. Then he will be ordered to be dragged along on his face until he is cast into hell fire. Another will be a man who has studied religious knowledge, and has taught it and who used to recite the Quran. He will be brought and Allah will make known to his his favors, and he will recognize them. The Almighty will say, and what did you do about them? He will say, I studied religious knowledge, and I taught it and I recited the Quran for your sake. He will say, 
you have lied, you did but study religious knowledge that it might be said of you, he is learned. And you recited the Quran that it might be said of you, he is a reciter. And so it was said. Then he will be ordered to be dragged along on his face until he is cast into hell fire. Another will be a man whom Allah had made rich, and to whom he had given all kinds of wealth. He will be brought and Allah will make known to his his favors, and he will recognize them. The Almighty will say, and what did you do about them? He will say, I left no path untrodden in which you like money to be spent, without spending in it for your sake. He will say, you have lied, you did but do so that it might be said of you, he is open-handed. And so it was said. Then he will be ordered to be dragged along on his face until he is cast into hell fire. It was related by Muslim, also by At-Tirmidhi and An-Nasai. On the authority of Uqba ibn Amir, may Allah be pleased with him, who said, I heard the messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, say. Your Lord delights at a shepherd who, on the peak of a mountain crag, gives the call to prayer and praise. Then Allah, glorified and exalted be he, say, look at this servant of mine, he gives the call to prayer, and performs the prayers, he is in awe of me. I have forgiven my servant his sins, and have admitted him to paradise. It was related by a Nasai with a good chain of authorities. On the authority of Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, from the Prophet, peace be upon him, who said. A prayer performed by someone who has not recited the essence of the Quran, Surat al-Fatiha, the first surah, chapter, of the Quran, during it is deficient, and he repeated the word three times, incomplete. Someone said to Abu Huraira, even though we are behind the Imam, means standing behind the Imam, leader, listening to him reciting Al-Fatiha, he said, recite it to yourself, for I have heard the Prophet, may the blessings, and peace of Allah be upon him, say, Allah, mighty and sublime be he, had said, I have divided prayer between myself, and my servant into two halves, and my servant shall have what he has asked for. When the servant says, Alhamdu, Lelahi, Rabbil Alamin, praise be to Allah, Lord of the worlds, Allah, mighty and sublime be he, says, my servant has praised me. And when he says, Ar Ramani, Ar Rahim, the merciful, the compassionate, Allah, mighty and sublime be he, says, my servant has extolled me, and when he says, Malaiki, Yamid Din, Master of the Day of Judgment, Allah says, My servant has glorified me, and on one occasion, he said, My servant has submitted to my power. And when he says, Iyaka, Na Badu, Wa Iyaka, Nastain, It is you we worship and it is you we ask for help, he says, This is between me and my servant, and my servant shall have what he has asked for. And when he says, it in a seratal, mistakeim, seratal lad hina, an am to alayhim, girl maktubi alayhim, wa'alad dalin, guide us to the straight path, the path of those upon whom you have bestowed favors, not of those against whom you are angry, nor of those who are astray, he says, this is for my servant, and my servant shall have what he has asked for. It was related by Muslim, also by Malik, At-Tirmidhi, Abu Dhaud, and Nasai, and Ibn Majah. On the authority of Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, from the Prophet, peace be upon him, who said, Allah, mighty and sublime be he, says. The first of his actions for which a servant of Allah will be held accountable on the day of resurrection will be his prayers. If they are in order, then he will have prospered and succeeded, and if they are wanting, then he will have failed and lost. If there is something defective in his obligatory prayers, the Lord, glorified and exalted be he, will say, See if my servant has any supererogatory prayers, 
with which may be completed that which was defective in his obligatory prayers. Then the rest of his actions will be judged in like fashion. It was related by at tirmidhi also by Abu Dhud, and Nasai, Ibn Majah and Ahmad. On the authority of Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, from the Prophet, peace be upon him, who said, Allah, mighty and sublime be he, says. Fasting is mine, and it is I who give reward for it. A man gives up his sexual passion, his food, and his drink for my sake. Fasting is like a shield, and he who fasts has two joys, a joy when he breaks his fast, and a joy when he meets his Lord. The change in the breath of the mouth of him who fasts is better in Allah's estimation than the smell of musk. It was related by al-Bukhari, also by Muslim, Malik, At-Tirmidhi, and Nasai, and Ibn Majah. On the authority of Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, from the Prophet, peace be upon him, who said, Allah, mighty and sublime be he, said. Spend, on charity, O son of Adam, and I shall spend on you. It was related by al-Bukhari, also by Muslim. On the authority of Abu Masud al-Ansari, may Allah be pleased with him, who said that the messenger of Allah, may the blessings and peace of Allah be upon him, said. A man from among those who were before you was called to account. Nothing in the way of good was found for him, except that he used to have dealings with people and, being well to do, he would order his servants to let off the man in straitened circumstances from repaying his debt. He, the Prophet, peace be upon him, said that Allah said, We are worthier than you of that, of being so generous. Let him off. It was related by Muslim, also by al-Bukhari and an nasai On the authority of Adi ibn Hadim, may Allah be pleased with him, who said, I was with the Messenger of Allah, may the blessings and peace of Allah be upon him, and there came to him two men, one of them was complaining of penury, being very poor, while the other was complaining of brick injury, robbery. The Messenger of Allah, May the blessings and peace of Allah be upon him, said, As for brick injury, it will be but a short time before a caravan will be able to go out of Mecca without a guard. As for penury, the hour, day of judgment, will not arrive before one of you takes his charity around without finding anyone to accept it from him. Then, at the time of the hour, one of you will surely stand before Allah, there being no screen between him and him, nor an interpreter to translate for him. Then he will say to him, Did I not bring you wealth? And he will say, Yes. Then he will say, Did I not send to you a messenger? And he will say, Yes. And he will look to his right and will see nothing but hell fire, then he will look to his left and will see nothing but hell fire, so let each of you protect himself against hell fire, be it with even half a date, and if he finds it not, then with a kind word. It was related by al-Bukhari. On the authority of Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, from the Prophet, peace be upon him, who said, Allah, glorified and exalted be he, has supernumerary angels who rove about seeking out gatherings in which Allah's name is being invoked, they sit with them, and fold their wings round each other, filling that which is between them, and between the lowest heaven. When the people in the gathering depart, the angels ascend and rise up to heaven. He, the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Then Allah, mighty and sublime be he, asks them, though he is most knowing about them, from where have you come? And they say, we have come from some servants of yours on earth, they were glorifying you, subhan Allah, exalting you, Allahu Akbar, witnessing that there is no God but you, la ilaha illallah, praising you, alhamdulillah, and asking favors of you. He says, and what do they ask of me? They say, they ask of you your paradise. 
he says, and have they seen my paradise? They say, No, O Lord. He says, And how would it be were they to have seen my paradise? They say, And they ask protection of you. He says, From what do they ask protection of me? They say, From your hellfire, O Lord. He says, And have they seen my hellfire? They say, No. He says, and how would it be were they to have seen my hellfire, they say, and they ask for your forgiveness. He, the prophet, peace be upon him, said, then he says, I have forgiven them, and I have bestowed upon them what they have asked for and I have granted them sanctuary from, that from which they ask protection. He, the prophet, peace be upon him, said, they say, O Lord, among then is so and so, a much sinning servant, who was merely passing by and sat down with them. He, the prophet, peace be upon him, said, and he says, and to him too I have given forgiveness, he who sits with such people shall not suffer. It was related by Muslim, also by al-Bukhari, at Tirmidhi, and an Nasai. On the authority of Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, who said that the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Allah the Almighty said, I am as my servant thinks I am. I am with him when he makes mention of me. If he makes mention of me to himself, I make mention of him to myself, and if he makes mention of me in an assembly, I make mention of him in an assemble better than it. And if he draws near to me an arm's length, I draw near to him a fathom's length. And if he comes to me walking, I go to him at speed. Another possible rendering of the Arabic is, I am as my servant expects me to be. The meaning is that forgiveness and acceptance of repentance by the Almighty, is subject to his servant truly believing that he is forgiving and merciful. However, not to accompany such belief with right action would be to mock the Almighty. It was related by al-Bukhari, also by Muslim, at Tirmidhi and Ibn Majah. On the authority of son of Abbas, may Allah be pleased with them both, from the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, among the sayings he related from his Lord, glorified and exalted be he, is that he said. Allah has written down the good deeds, and the bad ones. Then he explained it by saying that he who has intended a good deed, and has not done it, Allah writes it down with himself as a full good deed, but if he has intended it, and has done it, Allah writes it down with himself as from ten good deeds to seven hundred times, or many times over. But if he has intended a bad deed, and has not done it, Allah writes it down with himself as a full good deed, but if he has intended it and has done it, Allah writes it down as one bad deed. It was related by al-Bukhari and Muslim. On the authority of Abu Dar al-Gifari, may Allah be pleased with him, from the Prophet, peace be upon him, is that among the sayings he relates from his Lord, may he be glorified, is that he said. O oh my servants, I have forbidden oppression for myself, and have made it forbidden amongst you, so do not oppress one another. O oh my servants, all of you are astray except for those I have guided, so seek guidance of me, and I shall guide you, O oh my servants, all of you are hungry except for those I have fed, so seek food of me, and I shall feed you. O oh my servants, all of you are naked except for those I have clothed, so seek clothing of me, and I shall clothe you. O oh my servants, you sin by night and by day, and I forgive all sins, so seek forgiveness of me, and I shall forgive you. O oh my servants, you will not attain harming me so as to harm me, and will not attain benefiting me so as to benefit me. O oh my servants, were the first of you, and the last of you, the human of you, and the jinn of you to be as pious as the most pious heart of any one man of you, that would not increase my kingdom in anything. O oh my servants, were the first of you, and the last of you, the human of you, 
and the jinn of you to be as wicked as the most wicked heart of any one man of you, that would not decrease my kingdom in anything. O oh my servants, were the first of you, and the last of you, the human of you and the jinn of you to rise up in one place, and make a request of me, and were I to give everyone what he requested, that would not decrease what I have, any more that a needle decreases the sea if put into it. O oh my servants, it is but your deeds that I reckon up for you, and then recompense you for, so let him finds good praise Allah, and let him who finds other that blame no one but himself. It was related by Muslim, also by At-Tirmidhi and Ibn Majah. On the authority of Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, who said that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him said, Allah, mighty and sublime be he, will say on the day of resurrection. O son of Adam, I fell ill and you visited me not. He will say, O Lord, and how should I visit you when you are the Lord of the worlds? He will say, Did you not know that my servant so and so had fallen ill, and you visited him not? Did you not know that had you visited him you would have found me with him? O son of Adam, I asked you for food, and you fed me not. He will say, O Lord, and how should I feed you when you are the Lord of the worlds? He will say, Did you not know that my servant so and so asked you for food and you fed him not? Did you not know that had you fed him you would surely have found that, the reward for doing so, with me? O son of Adam, I asked you to give me to drink, and you gave me not to drink. He will say, O Lord, how should I give you to drink when you are the Lord of the worlds? He will say, My servant so and so asked you to give him to drink, and you gave him not to drink. Had you given him to drink you would have surely found that with me. It was related by Muslim. On the authority of Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, who said that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him said, Allah, mighty and sublime be he, said. Pride is my cloak and greatness my robe, and he who competes with me in respect of either of them I shall cast into hell fire. It was related by Abu Dhud, also by Ibn Majah and Ahmad, with sound chains of authority. This hadith also appears in Muslim in another version. On the authority of Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, who said that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him said. The gates of paradise will be opened on Mondays and on Thursdays, and every servant of Allah who associates nothing with Allah will be forgiven, except for the man who has a grudge against his brother. About them it will be said, delay these two until they are reconciled, delay these two until they are reconciled. It was related by Muslim, also by Malik and Abu Dhud. On the authority of Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, who said that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said that Allah the Almighty said. There are three, types of men, whose adversary I shall be on the day of resurrection, a man who has given his word by me and has broken it, a man who has sold a free man, a man who has made a slave of another and has sold him, and has consumed the price, and a man who has hired a workman, has exacted his due in full from him and has not given him his wage. It was related by al-Bukhari, also by Ibn Majah and Ahmed Ibn Hanbal. On the authority of Abu Sa'id, may Allah be pleased with him, who said that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him said. Let not any one of you belittle himself. They said, O Messenger of Allah, how can any one of us belittle himself? He said, He finds a matter concerning Allah about which he should say something, and he does not say it, so Allah, mighty and sublime be he, says to him on the day of resurrection, what prevented you from saying something about such and such and such and such? He say, it was out of fear of people. Then he says, rather it is I whom you should more properly fear. It was related by Ibn Majah with a sound chain of authorities. On the authority of Abu Huraira, 
may Allah be pleased with him, who said that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him said, Allah will say on the day of resurrection. Where are those who love one another through my glory? Today I shall give them shade in my shade, it being a day when there is no shade but my shade. It was related by Al-Bukhari, also by Malik. On the authority of Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, who said that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him said. If Allah has loved a servant of his, he calls Gabriel, on whom be peace, and says, I love so and so, therefore love him. He, the Prophet, peace be upon him said, so Gabriel loves him. Then he, Gabriel, calls out in heaven, saying, Allah loves so and so, therefore love him. And the inhabitants of heaven love him. He, the prophet, peace be upon him said, then acceptance is established for him on earth. And if Allah has abhorred a servant of his, he calls Gabriel and says, I abhor so and so, therefore abhor him. So Gabriel abhors him. Then Gabriel calls out to the inhabitants of heaven, Allah abhors so and so, therefore abhor him. He, the prophet, peace be upon him said, so they abhor him, and abhorrence is established for him on earth. It was related by Muslim, also by al-Bukhari, Malik, and At-Tirmidhi. On the authority of Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, who said that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him said, Allah, mighty and sublime be he, said. Whosoever shows enmity to someone devoted to me, I shall be at war with him. My servant draws not near to me with anything more loved by me than the religious duties I have enjoined upon him, and my servant continues to draw near to me with supererogatory works so that I shall love him. When I love him I am his hearing with which he hears, his seeing with which he sees, his hand with which he strikes, and his foot with which he walks. Were he to ask something of me, I would surely give it to him, and were he to ask me for refuge, I would surely grant him it. I do not hesitate about anything as much as I hesitate about seizing the soul of my faithful servant, he hates death, and I hate hurting him. It was related by al-Bukhari. On the authority of Abu Umama, may Allah be pleased with him, who said that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him said, Allah, mighty and sublime be he, said. Truly of those devoted to me the one I most favor is a believer who is of meager means, and much given to prayer, who has been particular in the worship of his Lord, and has obeyed him inwardly, he has not been ostentatious in his obedience, who was obscure among people and not pointed out, and whose sustenance was just sufficient to provide for him yet he bore this patiently. Then the Prophet, peace be upon him, wrapped his hand and said, Death will have come early to him, his mourners will have been few, his estate scant. It was related by At-Tirmidhi, also by Ahmed ibn Hanbal, and ibn Majah. Its chain of authorities is sound. On the authority of Masrak, who said. We asked Abdullah, Ibn Masud, about this verse, and do not regard those who have been killed in the cause of Allah as dead, rather are they alive with their Lord, being provided for, Quran chapter 3 verse 169. He said, we asked about that, and the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, their souls are in the insides of green birds having lanterns suspended from the throne, roaming freely in paradise where they please, then taking shelter in those lanterns. So their Lord cast a glance at them, means at those who had been killed in the cause of Allah, and said, Do you wish for anything? They said, What shall we wish for when we roam freely in paradise where we please? And thus did he do to them three times. When they say that they would not be spared from being asked again, they said, O Lord, we would like for you to put back our souls into our bodies so that we might fight for your sake once again. 
and when he saw that they were not in need of anything they were let be. It was related by Muslim, also by At-Tirmidhi and Nasai and Ibn Majah. On the authority of Jundub ibn Abdullah, may Allah be pleased with him, who said that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him said. There was amongst those before you a man who had a wound. He was in such anguish that he took a knife, and made with it a cut in his hand, and the blood did not cease to flow until he died. Allah the Almighty said, My servant has himself forestalled me, I have forbidden him paradise. It was related by al-Bukhari. On the authority of Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, who said that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him said, Allah, mighty and sublime be he, says. My faithful servant's reward from me, if I have taken to me his best friend from amongst the inhabitants of the world, and he has then borne it patiently for my sake, shall be nothing less than paradise. It was related by al-Bukhari. On the authority of Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, who said that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him said, Allah, mighty and sublime be he, said. If my servant likes to meet me, I like to meet him, and if he dislikes to meet me, I dislike to meet him. Prophetic explanation of this sacred hadith, he who likes to meet Allah, Allah likes to meet him, and he who dislikes to meet Allah, Allah dislikes to meet him. Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, said, O Prophet of Allah, is it because of the dislike of death, for all of us dislike death? The Prophet, peace be upon him said, it is not so, but rather it is that when the believer is given news of Allah's mercy, his approval, and his paradise, he likes to meet Allah and Allah likes to meet him, but when the unbeliever is given news of Allah's punishment and his displeasure, he dislikes to meet Allah, and Allah dislikes to meet him. It was related by al-Bukhari and Malik. The prophetic version is related by Muslim. On the authority of Jundub, may Allah be pleased with him, who said that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, related. A man said, by Allah, Allah will not forgive so and so. At this Allah the Almighty said, Who is he who swears by me that I will not forgive so and so? Verily I have forgiven so and so and have nullified your own good deeds, or as he said it. A similar hadith, which is given by Abu Dhud, indicates that, the person referred to was a goldly man whose previous good deeds were brought to naught through presuming to declare that, Allah would not forgive someone's bad deeds. It was related by Muslim. On the authority of Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, who said that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him said. A man sinned greatly against himself, and when death came to him he charged his sons, saying, When I have died, burn me, then crush me and scatter my ashes into the sea, for, by Allah, if my Lord takes possession of me, he will punish me in a manner in which he has punished no one else. So they did that to him. Then he, Allah, said to the earth, Produce what you have taken and there he was. And he said to him, What induced you to do what you did? He said, Being afraid of you, O my Lord, or he said, Being frightened of you, and because of that he forgave him. It was related by Muslim, also by al-Bukhari and Nasai and Ibn Majah. On the authority of Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, that the Prophet, peace be upon him, from among the things he reports from his Lord, mighty and sublime be he, is that he said. A servant of Allah's committed a sin and said, O Allah, forgive me my sin. And he, glorified and exalted be he, said, My servant has committed a sin, and has known that he has a Lord who forgives sins and punishes for them. Then he sinned again and said, O Lord, forgive me my sin. And he, glorified and exalted be he, said, My servant has committed a sin, 
and has known that he has a Lord who forgives sins and punishes for them. Then he sinned again and said, O Lord, forgive me my sin. And he, glorified and exalted be he, said, My servant has committed a sin, and has known that he has a Lord who forgives sins and punishes for sins. Do what you wish, for I have forgiven you. It was related by Muslim, also by al-Bukhari. On the authority of Anas, may Allah be pleased with him, who said, I heard the messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, say, Allah the Almighty said. O son of Adam, so long as you call upon me and ask of me, I shall forgive you for what you have done, and I shall not mind. O son of Adam, were your sins to reach the clouds of the sky, and were you then to ask forgiveness of me, I would forgive you. O son of Adam, were you to come to me with sins nearly as great as the earth and were you then to face me, ascribing no partner to me, I would bring you forgiveness nearly as great at it. It was related by At-Tirmidhi, also by Ahmed ibn Hanbal. Its chain of authorities is sound. On the authority of Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, who said that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him said. Our Lord, glorified and exalted be he, descends each night to the earth sky when there remains the final third of the night, and he says, Who is saying a prayer to me that I may answer it? Who is asking something of me that I may give it him? Who is asking forgiveness of me that I may forgive him? It was related by al-Bukhari, also by Muslim, Malik, At-Tirmidhi, and Abu Dhabid. In a version by Muslim the hadith ends with the words. And thus he continues till the light of dawn shines. On the authority of Anas, may Allah be pleased with him, from the Prophet, peace be upon him, who said. The believers will gather together on the day of resurrection and will say, should we not ask someone to intercede for us with our Lord? So they will come to Adam and will say, You are the father of mankind, Allah created you with his hand. He made his angels bow down to you and he taught you the names of everything, so intercede for us with you Lord so that he may give us relief from this place where we are. And he will say, I am not in a position to do that, and he will mention his wrongdoing, and will feel ashamed and will say, Go to Noah, for he is the first messenger that Allah sent to the inhabitants of the earth. So they will come to him and he will say, I am not in a position to do that, and he will mention his having requested something of his Lord about which he had no proper knowledge, Quran chapter 11 verses 45 to 46, and he will feel ashamed and will say, Go to the friend of the merciful, Abraham. So they will come to him, and he will say, I am not in a position to do that. Go to Moses, a servant to whom Allah talked and to whom he gave the Torah. So they will come to him, and he will say, I am not in a position to do that, and he will mention the talking of a life other than for a life, Quran chapter 28 verses 15 to 16, and he will feel ashamed in the sight of his Lord, and will say, Go to Jesus, Allah's servant, and messenger, Allah's word and spirit. So they will come to him and he will say, I am not in a position to do that. Go to Muhammad, may the blessings and peace of Allah be upon him, a servant to whom Allah has forgiven all his wrongdoing, past and future. So they will come to me, and I shall set forth to ask permission to come to my Lord, and permission will be given, and when I shall see my Lord I shall prostrate myself. He will leave me thus for such time as it pleases him, and then it will be said to me, Raise your head. Ask and it will be granted. Speak and it will be heard. Intercede and your intercession will be accepted. So I shall raise my head, and praise him with a form of praise that he will teach me. Then I shall intercede, and he will set me a limit as to the number of people, so I shall admit them into paradise. Then I shall return to him, and when I shall see my Lord I shall bow down as before. Then I shall intercede, 
and he will set me a limit as to the number of people. So I shall admit them into paradise. Then I shall return for a third time, then a fourth, and I shall say, there remains in hell fire only those whom the Quran has confined, and who must be there for eternity. There shall come out of hell fire he who has said, there is no God but Allah and who has in his heart goodness weighing a barley corn, then there shall come out of hell fire he who has said, there is no God but Allah and who has in his heart goodness weighing a grain of wheat, then there shall come out of hell fire he who has said, there is no God but Allah and who has in his heart goodness weighing an atom. It was related by Al-Bukhari, also by Muslim, At-Tirmidhi and Ibn Majah. On the authority of Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, who said that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him said, Allah said. I have prepared for my righteous servants what no eye has seen, and no ear has heard, not has it occurred to human heart. Thus recite if you wish, and no soul knows what joy for them, the inhabitants of paradise, has been kept hidden, Quran chapter 32 verse 17. The words thus recite if you wish are those of Abu Huraira. It was related by Al-Bukhari, Muslim, At-Tirmidhi and Ibn Majah. On the authority of Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, who said that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said. When Allah created paradise and hell fire, he sent Gabriel to paradise, saying, Look at it and at what I have prepared therein for its inhabitants. The Prophet, peace be upon him said, so he came to it, and looked at it, and at what Allah had prepared therein for its inhabitants. The Prophet, peace be upon him said, so he returned to him and said, by your glory, no one hears of it without entering it. So he ordered that it be encompassed by forms of hardship, and he said, return to it, and look at what I have prepared therein for its inhabitants. The Prophet, peace be upon him said, so he returned to it and found that it was encompassed by forms of hardship. Then he returned to him and said, by your glory, I fear that no one will enter it. He said, go to hell fire, and look at it, and what I have prepared therein for its inhabitants, and he found that it was in layers, one above the other. Then he returned to him and said, By your glory, no one who hears of it will enter it. So he ordered that it be encompassed by lusts. Then he said, Return to it. And he returned to it and said, By your glory, I am frightened that no one will escape from entering it. Commentary The Arabic word used here is mockery, the literal meaning of which is things that are disliked. In this context it refers to forms of religious discipline that man usually finds onerous. It was related by Tirmidhi, who said that it was a good and sound hadith, also by Abu Dhud and an Nasai. On the authority of Abu Sa'id al-Qudri, may Allah be pleased with him, who said that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him said. Paradise and hell fire disputed together, and hell fire said, in me are the mighty and the haughty. Paradise said, In me are the weak and the poor. So Allah judged between them, saying, You are paradise, my mercy, through you I show mercy to those I wish. And you are hell fire, my punishment, through you I punish those I wish, and it is incumbent upon me that each of you shall have its fill. It was related by Muslim, also by al-Bukhari and at-Tirmidhi. On the authority of Abu Sa'id al-Qudri, may Allah be pleased with him, who said that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him said. Allah will say to the inhabitant of paradise, O inhabitants of paradise. They will say, O our Lord, we present ourselves and are at your pleasure, and goodness rests in your hands. Then he will say, Are you contented? And they will say, And how should we not be contented, O Lord, when you have given to us that which you have given to no one else of your creation? Then he will say, Would you not like me to give you something better than that? 
and they will say, O Lord and what thing is better than that? And he will say, I shall cause my favor to descend upon you, and thereafter shall never be displeased with you. It was related by al-Bukhari, also by Muslim and at-Tirmidhi.